Wait. Hi everyone. This episode of the Doing the Yarn podcast took place at our home away from home, the Wrestling Guy store in Huntington Park, thanks to David. My guest today is Douglas James, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Now, without further ado, let's get into the podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Doing Yarn Podcast. Today I have a very special guest, the PCW Light Heavyweight Champion, Douglas James. That's me. So, um, were you a fan of wrestling growing up? Yeah, I loved wrestling growing up. Uh, I started watching wrestling, I think, when I was around uh, eight years old. Before that, my brother had me watch wrestling. Uh, but I got really into it when I was eight years old, and I've been a fan ever since. And I just, I love wrestling. Oh, um, who were you a fan of? Um, good question. My first favorite wrestler was the One Two Three Kid. Okay. Was my first favorite wrestler, who's X Pac. And um, but from there, my favorite wrestler that would or two would be Shawn Michaels and Rey Mysterio. Um, how did you start wrestling? Um, I played sports. I played sports my whole life. I, was, I played sports as a kid, and um, I got into mixed martial arts, and I wrestled in high school and did jujitsu and things like that. And I, I, as I got older, uh, I was doing mixed martial arts, and I just figured it was a now or never kind of thing, and I signed up. I Googled. Uh, Santino's. I found Santino's online and uh, started there, and the rest is history. Have you competed in any martial arts tournaments? Yeah, I did. Um, I competed professionally in mixed martial arts, but I also did a lot of jiu-jitsu tournaments and um, competed at a, at, a, at a pretty good level with jiu-jitsu and competed all around the state and things like that, traveled with jiu-jitsu. And, so, yeah. Um. Where did you first start training wrestling? Well, actually, well, for I started training at Santino's, but that's a good question because I actually had some experience. I'm from New Jersey, um, and I had some experience in New Jersey uh, before I moved out to California. And I so I trained a little bit out there, and then when I moved out to California, I started with Santino's. Um, how long have you been a pro wrestler? I've been a pro wrestler for about two years. Uh, I've been training for about three a little bit more than three years. Um, who was your first opponent? In first wrestling? opponent? Uh, my first opponent was Eli Everfly. He was my first opponent. I actually ended up wrestling uh, Eli Everfly, uh, Bad Dude Tito, all on the same day. Mm-hmm. And it was uh, pretty exhausting and it hurt a lot. <laughs> um, what's your favorite match to watch? Favorite watch. match to watch? Uh, good question. Um, recently, my favorite match is the first uh, Kenny Omega versus Okada match from Wrestle Kingdom 11. I just love that match. It's so good. I can watch it over and over again. I can't get old. It doesn't get old. It's just so good. I really like that match, too. Uh, yeah, it's great, right? No, it's really long. Yeah, it's long. Very long. But that's good. Yeah. Um, up to this point, it- uh, in your career, um, what has been your favorite match to be a part of? I would say my favorite match would have to be. That's a good question because I don't know. But I, I, I think a really, a really fun match that I had was my, I had a triple threat match at PCW with uh, Joey Janela and Leo Rush. Uh, it was a lot of fun to be a part of. I got really hurt in the match. Uh, that wasn't so much fun. But I was able to get through it, and 
I ended up winning the match, so it was a really good moment for my career. Mm. How did you feel winning the PCW Lot Heavyweight Championship? Uh, it, it was like a dream come true. It was uh, everything I ever dreamt of doing when I was uh, when I was your age or, or you know younger or older. I just always dreamt of being a champion and being able to live that dream. It was it was, it was awesome. Mm. Is there a, um, a wrestler out there that you would like to have a match with? There's a, there's a lot of them out there. I don't really know if I name names, but one that I would love to have a match with, just like we kind of talked about it before, would be somebody like Kenny Omega. I would love to have a match with somebody uh, on his level, somebody in New Japan, maybe like an Adam Cole, uh, a Cody Rhodes, those kind of guys I would love to wrestle with. Both love my favorite right World now. World Club, they're awesome. Yeah, I love the wrestlers. Yep, too sweet. Too sweet. Um, do you ever have um have a goal of making it to the WWE in your career? Yeah, my goal is definitely to be in the WWE. I, my goal is to be at the top. You know, I want to be the best wrestler in the world, and wherever that takes me, uh, I would love to be in New Japan, uh, Ring of Honor. WWE would probably be the main goal. WWE or New Japan. Do you have a favorite opponent? Um, that's another really good question because you know I've been I've been lucky enough to wrestle a lot of really good people. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would say my favorite one would be Eli Everfly, my first opponent. He's just a lot of fun to be in the ring with, and he's so capable and so talented that it's just it's magic when we're in there. So it's a lot of fun. Um. Is just you do a lot of drop kicks. Yes. Is that is that your favorite move to do? I think it's my favorite move. Yeah, I love throwing drop kicks and uh, I think and doing the frog splash. But uh, yeah, I love throwing drop kicks. <laughs> a lot of fun. Okay, one more thing. Yeah. Um, is there any way people can follow you on any social media? Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Douglas James Pro, and you can follow me. Uh, Facebook at Douglas James. Okay. Okay. Thank you for being a guest on my podcast. Of course, thank you.